Heidi and Veronica here. Hope y'all are doing well and having an amazing day wherever you are. I hope 2023 is treating you really well and that everyone is healthy and happy and that this year is just an incredible year for you guys. This year I'd love to know, comment down below, what product, makeup, beauty, skincare product you're really looking forward to trying out this year. So today we're gonna to be doing a huge Sephora haul and I'm super excited to share this all with you guys. If anyone has shopped at Sephora lately, uh, what has been your favorite product that you've gotten from Sephora? I would love to know, comment down below. Before I start, please don't forget to subscribe and to my channel and like this video, it helps me a lot. Yeah, let's get into it. Not in any super particular order. Uh, the first thing I'm going to mention is the Tatcha, the Deep Cleanse. And this is my favorite cleanser, fun fact. If you, because I wear a lot of makeup and I wear like really locked in makeup, this stuff will get it all off. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard to find, I feel like it's hard to find a really good facial cleanser that gets all of the makeup off, you know? And this one, if y'all are looking for a really good facial cleanser that gets everything off, definitely try this one. I highly recommend it. It's amazing, especially for eye. Uh, makeup. Amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, the next thing I got was the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. This is literally my favorite high-end facial toner and it's just so lovely and it's it's a toner that hydrates my skin and I have really dry skin and so this is a very unique toner that it doesn't break me out, it doesn't aggravate my skin, and it hydrates my skin, which is amazing. And it does, you know, everything that a toner should do. As you can see, it has rose petals in the bottle, which I think is just so, so cool. And it and it's lovely. It's, it's very lovely smelling. It's a very relaxing thing to put on your skin at night or in the morning. So I super duper highly recommend the Rose Deep Hydration Facial toner is my favorite toner in the world. I made myself a cup of coffee. I love coffee. If y'all drink coffee, what is your favorite kind of coffee? So the next product I got was, I'm super excited about this one because I haven't gotten a new facial spray in a very long time. And my go-to, oh, Simbi! One of my cats is meow. Oh, Simbi! His name's Simba, but I call him Simbi. Simbi, mommy's filming. Yeah, mommy's filming. Yeah, not not the time, buddy. Not the time he wants the the love. <laughs> nope, not the time. <laughs> okay, buddy. No, mommy loves you. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. And it looks really cool. It's like green and blue. It looks really cool. Yeah, it just looks like a really good facial spray and I'm super duper excited to try it. And Hydro, it has the word Hydro, which Hydro, I'm assuming hydrating and I'm all about anything hydrating because mom's got dry skin. Oh, to that, I will say the next thing I got is the Juno Antioxidant and Superfood Facial Oil. I had to get another one of these because I ran out of my last one. And this is my favorite facial oil of all time. And if you have dry, sensitive skin, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's super hydrating. It has nine cold pressed vitamin rich superfood seed oils and um, it's just super super hydrating and it doesn't break me out. It has so many good things in it. It has amino acids, omegas 3, 6, and 9, and skin soothing botanicals and it's created with 100% 
pure plant extracts without synthetic fragrances, essential oils, or preservatives to nurture even the most sensitive skin. And that's the thing that I love about this product is that I have sensitive skin that's prone to get little dots and, you know, that's not fun. I don't have time for that. <laughs> so very, very much highly recommend this uh, facial oil, especially in the winter months, you know, when I think all of our, our skin gets drier in the winter months. At least mine does, that's for sure. Okie dokie. Next is a, I treated myself to a perfume and I, I love collecting perfumes. I will say that it's a very expensive hobby, but I've been really good this year. Well, last year, 2022, in like hardly buying any perfumes. I think in 2022, I bought maybe one or two perfumes, which is like really good for me. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of myself, but I did save a lot of money, so that's good. But I love perfumes and funny enough, I, I actually heard Kathleen Lights talking about this perfume. Kathleen Lights, by the way, is my favorite beauty YouTuber. Her, uh, Tati, Candy Johnson are like my three favorite beauty YouTubers. I know Candy Johnson doesn't make content anymore, which like makes me really sad, but I still watch Tati and Kathleen Lights religiously. So this is the perfume I got. This is the Versace Crystal Noir perfume. And this baby is gorgeous. Actually, I'm just gonna spritz a little bit on myself, you know. This smells so flippin' good, so good. The only thing I do wish the Versace Crystal Noir and the Versace Crystal something, they are editoilettes, which typically editoilettes have a shorter lasting power. They don't last as long. So this doesn't necessarily last as long as say my Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel perfume. That is, that is my number one perfume. If y'all would love to see me do like a perfume collection video and go through all my perfumes, I'd be more than happy to do that. I think that'd be fun. I think that'd be really fun. I'm a huge, huge, lover of perfumes, but I feel like this is a perfume that is more catered to like the fall and winter time. It's just very me. It's like me in a bottle kind of, like that and Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. This has become like literally my second favorite perfume of all time. And I'm just so happy that Kathleen Lights recommended it because I probably would have never picked it up if she didn't say that it was amazing. So, Okie dokie. Next, next thing I got. Okay, I am totally in love with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Let me tell you, I got these puppies all over my house. I got them in my car. I got them everywhere, okay? I got a lot of these things. And they're the only super hydrating lip balm mask type product that super duper hydrates my lips. Like I feel like most lip balms, you put it on and oddly enough, it makes your lips more dry or it just comes off in like two seconds and then you have to keep reapplying it like a million times throughout the day and I, I, I don't have time for that. So this stuff is so, so good. If you have dry lips, like I have dry skin, I have dry lips. I need to hydrate my lips throughout the day, okay? <laughs> so. So I got two of these. This is the, I think it was one of their limited edition scents. I'll have to see if it's still available. Oh, pumpkin spice. Oh my goodness, I'm so silly. Yeah, this is the pumpkin spice scent and they will last you a long time. Like a little bit goes a very long way. You don't need to use a lot of product. Oh, wow, that smells good. I am a huge sucker for like all things pumpkin spice. I'm just all about it. I'm just all about it. Fall is my favorite time of year. I know fall is, is way past us. So I got two of these because <laughs> I can never have enough of these. So next product, this has probably been my number one top favorite product of the last few months of the year, maybe of 2022. This is the Huda Beauty Empowered eyeshadow palette. Look how beautiful that packaging is. Like, oh my gosh. Look at that packaging though. 
dang girl she did really good with this packaging did she not she did really really good with this packaging. Yeah, I'm just saying I'm a sucker for packaging and I appreciate really nice packaging I appreciate you know the the work and art and creativity that goes into all of that I love the look of the palette now I will say I've used this palette a couple times and I absolutely love and adore it I like I've said I, I've completely fallen in love with this palette look at that look how beautiful this is just gorgeous and oh my gosh okay I'm just so excited I'm just gonna like bounce out of the seat and just go through the roof <laughs> I just love this palette I can't even put into words how much I love this palette look at this look at that oh yeah oh yeah look at that guys gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous it's a very unique palette it's funny I don't have any other like full big Huda Beauty palettes I actually the only other Huda Beauty eyeshadow products that I have is actually another favorite of mine is the Huda Beauty chocolate brown this little little guy uh which is amazing she looks like this she's beautiful look how beautiful she is She's gorgeous. And I love the Huda Beauty eyeshadow formula, at least so far I love it. I loved it then, that palette, and yeah, I'm just totally in love with this palette. I haven't used all the shades, but so far I've used, let's see, so far I've used Bold Moves, gorgeous, like topper, eyeshadow topper, oh my gosh, gorgeous. I've used Winner, Legacy, get it, keep going, and confident. And I can't wait to use the other ones. So yeah, if you're looking for a new neutral-esque but unique palette, this is your girl. That's your girl. Okay? That's your girl. I'm gonna have another sip of coffee. Do you like my teddy bear? Isn't he cute? He's a puff pal. He's a puff pal and I love him and I just think he's the cutest little most adorable teddy bear. I'm a sucker for stuffed animals. I love stuffed animals. I, I know I'm 30 years old and I still love stuffed animals. What can I say? I'm a kid at heart. The next product is also a perfect product for people who have dry skin like me, especially in the winter time, is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, the packaging dough. Look at that gorgeous packaging. Mm-mm-mm. Gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. I love it. This puppy is great. I wear the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I wear this specifically as a night cream, and I don't wear this every single night because it is very rich. So super rich products, like even the face oil, I don't do that every night. Super rich products, I like to give my skin a chance to breathe, so I kind of put these super rich products on my face about every other day or every other night to kind of give my skin a chance to kind of breathe a little bit. The Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, look at this. Look how gorgeous she is. Like have this sitting on your little vanity. Look how beautiful. She's just gorgeous. And the smell of this stuff, if you have ever smelled this, it smells so good. I can't stand like skincare products that it's such a lovely, refreshing, slightly florally scent, but not insane. Not not crazy, nothing crazy. I don't like Estee Lauder skincare products where it's super potent in terms of smell. Yeah, with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, the scent does not linger whatsoever, which is really good. Okay, I'm gonna talk about my favorite eye cream of all time that I discovered in 2022. I think this is my third one. <laughs> because I love it so much <laughs> and I wear it nearly every day and I will say that if you're someone who struggles to get a really good eye cream that not only helps your under eyes it works well under makeup that's my struggle with eye cream is finding an eye cream that plays well underneath my concealer and powder because I have found I've tried a million and one eye 
I mean, million one. Okay, that's exaggerating a little bit, but I've tried <laughs> many, many, many <laughs> eye creams, and this one is a very rare one that behaves really well and performs really well under makeup. And it also has a really nice smell to it. And it, I feel like it does really good things for my under eyes. It keeps them moisturized. This is a really good, I would say, I use this primarily as my daytime eye cream, but you could totally wear this as a nighttime cream, and I do sometimes wear it as a nighttime eye cream. And uh, it is by Ola Hyrickson. I'll read a little bit about it. With gold complex vitamin C, it helps smooth texture and promote elasticity while reducing the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Inspired by makeup artist must have banana powder. It also improves makeup wear and helps prevent creasing. Which I think it does that. Like I said, it behaves really well under my concealer and powder, and I can't stand wearing products that like accentuate the lines under my eyes, and then it makes me look like I'm 80 years old. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, I ain't about that life. I'm only 30, I'm not 80 yet. So, you know, it. this is a really special product, and I feel like I don't hear people talking about it enough, but it's a very, very special product. Next, okay, next is a staple staple in my makeup collection is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I love this baby. She's one of my... This is a beautiful, beautiful mascara. Yeah, it's very voluminous. It plays well over other mascaras. I will say there's so many mascaras that I don't like, that don't work well for me, that don't do what I want them to do. So I'm like religiously stuck on my three favorite mascara products. I have the L'Oreal Eye Mascara Primer, then the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara I use in the blackest black. I use that every time I do my makeup. And then I put this bad boy over that and I just boop, like I have very voluminous eyelashes and I love it. I'm not someone who wears false eyelashes. I just, God gave me really long full eyelashes and I just don't wanna ruin them by putting fake lashes on. So I just go the route of doing mascara. Next we have something that I'm super excited about using is the Dior Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer. And the Dior Backstage Foundation is one of my favorite foundations of all freaking time. And it looks like, it literally looks like a mini version of the, it looks like a mini version of the foundation. Look how cute she is. She's so cute. And on that note, I also got another Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations of all freaking time, like I just mentioned, in the shade 1.5 Neutral. I love this stuff. It's very good everyday foundation. You can build it. You can have it as light coverage as you want it. You can have it as full coverage as you want it. And it wears beautifully throughout the day. I just freaking love this stuff. So as you can see, the cute, little concealer bottle matches the foundation bottle. So cute. It's just so cute. I can't stand it. Alrighty, next we have something completely entirely new to me that I've never tried in my life. It's the only Gwen Stefani makeup product that I have. I know she came out with a whole makeup line and I decided, because I do want to try different primers, I really love primer, and I've been really stuck on one primer, and I really wanted to kind of branch out and find a new prim primer to use. So, this is Gwen Stefani's primer. Very beautiful packaging, and it's their all-time prep, multi-use prep and smooth face oil. That's a very long name. <laughs> Uh, it says, for smooth, dewy skin or to prep before makeup application, use one to two drops alone over a cleansed face. Combine one to two drops with your foundation or moisturizer to improve makeup application and finish. So 
This sounds super promising. I'm very excited. Ooh, it's a glass bottle. Ooh, it's a glass bottle. That's nice. I love glass bottles. I know a lot of people don't like glass bottles, but I love glass bottles. Glass bottles feel more expensive and more luxurious than like plastic bottles. Like this, this is not glass. This is some kind of plastic. So the next product I got in my Sephora haul is one I've been eyeing for a long time, a long time, and I finally bit the bullet and got it. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. Is the Patrick Ta for Eyes eyeshadow palette. I have not used it yet, but I am dying to, and I can't wait, and I will for sure update y'all. Now, she looks beautiful in my opinion. She looks very, very beautiful. I love the neutrals. Absolutely love the neutrals. Personally, I am a neutrals eyeshadow fanatic. I love neutral eyeshadows. Now the one part about this product that I'm a little bit confused by is these last two down here. Um, they're cream. So I don't know, I'll have to go online and look, but I think they're cream eyeshadows or eyeshadow primers or if they're supposed to be eyeliner, like gel eyeliner. I'm not really sure, but I love how the top row is shimmers and then the bottom row is mattes. So you have, you know, that selection of, of mattes and, and shimmers. And uh, yeah, it just looks totally up my alley. I can't wait to use it. And I will report back to you guys how I like it. And I'm excited because I think that's the only Patrick Ta makeup product that I have. And uh, I've heard really good things about his makeup line, so I'm very excited. I'm very excited to try that. The next product I got in my haul is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. This puppy looks gorgeous. Let me tell you, this baby looks right up my alley. Look at that. Look at that. And their highlighters and blush. Look at that. <gasps> so beautiful. Yeah, it's so it's highlight and blush. And the top, let's see, there's glitter strobe gl gold. Uh, glitter strobe pink gold peach and bronze. So it looks like these are the blushes and it looks like these are the highlighters and I am just so freaking excited to try these babies. I love Dior. I'm a sucker for Dior. Like I said, one of my favorite foundations of all time is the Dior Face and Body Foundation. Uh, the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. So yeah, and the Dior Backstage line seems to be a really good line. So I'm so freaking excited to try this product and to try some new highlighters. I'm a killer for highlighter, if you can tell. I love highlighter and I love blush. As you can also tell, I'm a killer for blush. All right, enough about that. The next thing I got is the Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder. Now, I already have this, and I do love it. I will say I do love it. If you want a powder that you're not going to overdo it with, like, you know how you can really easily overdo loose setting powder? I will say my favorite powder of all time is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, but I got to be real careful about that girl because she can become too much too quick. <laughs> Do quick. Like you can super mattify your face. You can look too powdery with it. But if you do it right, if you're very careful with how much you use, it can look very nice and it can make your makeup last forever. I use that powder nearly every day for my wedding. It works amazing. But if you want a non-loose powder, because loose powder can be kind of annoying, you know, it, it gets everywhere, especially if you're traveling. If you want a powder and a compact, 
like that that's hard um, I do recommend the Kosas Cloud set. I don't, I wouldn't say it makes makeup last as long as the Laura Mercier Translucent does, but it does a really good job. I mean, it does the job and you can't overdo it. Like I would really recommend this product for people who are just getting into makeup because you literally can't overdo it and it's such an easy product to use. Anyway, and as you all know, I'm a killer for packaging, and this packaging is so cute! I just love it! I just love this cute packaging. This, like, frosted... Oh, if I can open it. Well, let's see if I can open it. We might be here for a while. Oh, no, I... <laughs> Anyway, I have this powder in the shade that's slightly darker than this, and I love it and it works, but I feel like in the winter time I got a little bit lighter, and that powder became just a smidge too dark for me, so I decided to get in the shade Airy, and I think it's their lightest shade. It looks very light in the pan, and like I said, I, I haven't um, tried it yet, but I know it'll be amazing, and yeah, I'm super excited. I'm super excited about all this because as you can tell, I'm super excited about makeup. I freaking love makeup. I've been wearing makeup, well, I'm 30 years old. Um, no, I'm 30 years old, and I've been wearing makeup since I was in like eighth grade. So if you do the math, long time. I've been wearing makeup, long, long time. So. The next product I got is uh, a, a huge favorite of mine, actually. I actually have it on my eyes today. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. These are by far the best, the best liquid eyeshadows in the entire freaking world. These babies last all day. They don't go all over your face. They don't fall down on your cheeks throughout the day. They stay put and they are vibrant and gorgeous and I love them. My favorite shade is Kitten Karma. I actually have that on my eyes today. And I have that on my eyes all the time. Let's see. Here she is. She is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next, I got the shade, this is a new shade for me. This is a shade Molten Midnight. And I wanted to branch out and get a new shade of their liquid eyeshadow because I use, most of the time I use Kit Karma and I wanted to like try something new. And this looks like black, but with silver and gold in there which looks so cool for a smoky eye, which I'm excited about. And I wanted to get something like this because it's something different than what I usually do. So I want to try to get like a really smoky eye with that. And then the next one is actually my second favorite in their line is the shade Diamond Dust. And it's a gorgeous silver, silver shade. Very, very beautiful. If y'all want a gorgeous, glitter topper eyeshadow that lasts all day long this is this is your girl I'm excited to try a new one of those and of course I stocked up on my other two favorites but here we go so we have just a few more products I know this is a long video guys I hope you got like tea or popcorn or something a blanket, cozy blanket. All right, so the next product is a NARS blush. Now, I'm a killer for the, well, I enjoy the NARS orgasm blush. I mean, I think it's, don't come for me, but I think the NARS orgasm blush is a little overhyped. Like, I feel like even for my skin tone, and I'm pretty gosh darn fair, like, I got a keep putting that baby on to get the blush look that I want. It's, it's, which is good. I'd rather that than have a too pigmented blush and then once you overdo it, it's hard to go back, you know. 
but I wanted to try the NARS Orgasm X blush because it is a little bit darker than so it, it looks like it's that peachy, beautiful peach shade with the goldish reflex. But actually for fun, I have the NARS blush with me because I love it. And this is what the NARS blush looks like. Oh, <gasps> no. I put a little boo-boo in my blush. My nail got in the blush. Oh, no. Okay, don't look at that. But this is the regular NARS Orgasm blush. So let me show you next to each other. The one, this one is darker than this one. Yeah, so this one is an Orgasm X. It's a little bit darker than the Orgasm regular Orgasm. I think if you're new to makeup, NARS Orgasm would be a really good one to go with because it's a beautiful blush formula that lasts throughout the day. There's no problems with it fading. You can't really overdo it and it's hard to overdo it and then it doesn't do the splotchy thing. I can't stand it. That's like one of my pet peeves when a makeup product like a blush or a bronzer, you're putting it on and it's like splotchy on your cheeks and I just like, no, 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 I don't do that. I, I don't have time for splotchy looking cheeks, okay? So you don't have to worry about that with the NARS blush. Next, we got the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I, I'm super excited to try a new foundation, well, newer foundation to me. It's hard for me to kind of branch out with new foundations these days because my top, like, I love my top two favorites so much. Ain't she pretty? NARS always has really nice packaging. Like I love the simplistic, sleek look with the matte black lid. I will say NARS products are a little bit pricey. They're a little bit pricey, but they tend to be really good. So I'm super excited to try a new foundation. I'll let y'all know how it goes, how it works. Hopefully it works really well. All right. So I think the last product that I got, is that the last product I got? Oh my gosh, are we on the last one? We're on the last one, no! I'm having fun. <laughs> so <laughs> the last product that I got is the Kosas Air Brow Tinted Volumizing Treatment Gel. So eyebrow gel, very cute packaging, I must say. And I kind of cheated and I used this once or twice very cute packaging. I did use this once or twice and it, it was meh. It was, it was meh. My Glossier Boy Brow Eyebrow Gel in Brown is amazing. Highly recommend. The only caveat to that one is that you'd be really quick to work with it because it like dries as soon as it hits your eyebrow hair almost. So you have to work really quickly, but it works really well and it holds your brows in place. That's what I have on my eyebrows today. This, this didn't, I, I will keep trying it out, but initially it did not wow me. So I don't know, I'll keep it updated on this one. Well, I think that's it. Oh my gosh, I'm sad, I'm, I'm very sad. <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for watching. Um, I hope this was fun for you guys. I hope that this gave you some new ideas of products that you might want to get from Sephora uh, this year, some new products to try, newer products to try. And I hope you guys have a terrific day, night, wherever you are, an amazing 2023. This is my first video of 2023, so that's really exciting. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out, and I will catch y'all in my next video.